For us to regain our face in the eyes of international communities, we must, first of all, as a country, get it right when it comes to our leadership so that the international communities can begin to portray us well. These are the words of Peter Obi, and this is what we keep seeing as the day go by we keep seeing news we keep seeing trends where international communities keep talking ill about nigeria and our leadership because the current leadership like we all know is illegitimate i want us to watch this video where this foreign journalist blasted tinubu watch this video i guys. had absolutely no idea uh, that tinubu was from the yoruba people that's the only good thing about him and my uh, contempt for him has zero to do with the fact that he's a Muslim and zero to do with the fact that he comes from the Yoruba people. Uh, these two things are the only two good things about him. I'm against him because he's a crook. I'm against him because he's a thief. I'm against him because he's a bagman for the bigger thieves. In Chicago, Illinois, I'm against him because he forged his election papers. I'm against him because INEC forged his victory in the election. Am I supposed to turn a blind eye to all these things? Uh, because he's a Muslim, because he's a Yoruba, because this may uh, lead to ill feeling uh, to his uh, people? We had David on in advance of the court decision. We've now had him on after the court decision, which I followed closely, and which was every bit as farcical as David Hundian described it. What are we supposed to do? Not do so? Accept that the greatest African country is run by a crook? A forger? No, I will never accept that. I had absolutely no idea uh, that Tinubu was from the Yoruba people. That's the only good thing about him. And my uh, contempt for him has zero to do with the fact that he's a Muslim and zero to do with the fact that he comes from the Yoruba people. Uh, these two things are the only two good things about him. I'm against him because he's a crook. I'm against him because he's a thief. I'm against him because he's a bagman for the bigger thieves. In Chicago, Illinois, I'm against him because he forged his election papers. I'm against him because INEC forged his victory in the election. Am I supposed to turn a blind eye to all these things? Uh, because... He's a Muslim because he's a Yoruba, because this may uh, lead to ill feeling uh, to his uh, people. We had David on in advance of the court decision. We've now had him on after the court decision, which I followed closely, and which was every bit as farcical as David Hundian described it. What are we supposed to do? Not do so? Accept? That the greatest African country is run by a crook? A forger? No, I will never accept that. The presidential election petition tribunal indeed failed Nigerians. This was actually a judgment that Nigerians were looking forward to. Just like this journalist pointed out, he also followed it because many people around the globe followed it, hoping that the judiciary would do the right thing this time hoping that Nigerians will regain their mandate again. But at the end of the day, the tribunal led by Justice Haruna Samani disappointed Nigerians, disappointed the international communities that were hoping that, yes, Nigeria as the giant of Africa will get it right this time, hoping that the people will get it right this time. But at the end of the day, our judiciary failed us that's why as we are going to the supreme court now we have no other option but to keep calling on the supreme court to not uphold the judgment of the appeal court but to give nigerians justice just imagine this kind of judgment you give that everywhere there's no jubilation everybody keeps calling on the supreme court to get it right but yet 
the peps not listening to what Nigerians were saying, not using the evidences that has been tabled before them, depended on technicalities just to favor the current president. We don't have to continue this way in Nigeria. We want something better. We want Nigerians and Nigeria to regain her face in international communities. We want a country where it will be so obvious that the rule of law is prevailing. But that's not what we are experiencing as a nation now. Talking about good and credible leaders, that's what Alex Oti, the governor of Abia State, is to the people just 100 days in office and this man has done wonders in the states he has transformed the state and this is what nigerians keep asking for they are not asking for anything too much but they are just asking for the INEC to give them the person they really voted into office and they will begin to see changes just the way prof nena fought in abia state to ensure that alex oti got the position as governor because the people voted for him but we saw how they wanted to change the whole election they wanted to rig the election but she stood on her ground to ensure that she called the person who really won the election to be the winner of the election and we can see the transformation that is going on in abia state just look at your screen the before and after of abia state this is the road before now and this is the road that they are currently experiencing in that state just because this professor that worked with INEC was able to do the right thing she didn't allow rigging she was able to uphold the people's choice and now alex oti is in office and then he's doing wonders transforming abia state let me show us this video of some of the transformations that Alex Oti has done in Abia State. Watch this video, guys. September, Saturday, 2023. I got a report that uh, I should rush to Emilugu to see the beautiful, serene environment uh, that we are look, uh, that we are experiencing. Uh, the, the, the contractor invited me, said that I should come over, that Eba Alex Hale up. As I told you guys, the lighting up on both sides, so the illumination is too high that you can as well pick a pin from the ground. Look at Emelok, this is not Abuja. This is what governance and leadership should be in Nigeria, when the people's choice will truly count. And when we see those people, that the people truly voted into power, when they come into office, they by all means try to do the job that they have voted into power to do. And that's what we are seeing in the case of Alex Okti. Reacting to this on Twitter, which is now X, this person here said, I woke up this morning and in my prayers, I said, God bless Prof. Mrs. Nenna Oti, wherever she is today. She is the reason Abia State has seen light today. Alex Oti is governor because she chose to do the right thing. This is an appreciation post for our dear prof. That's it. She deserves all the accolades for being able to fight and ensure that the election was not rigged. Being able to stand by your word and ensure that the people's choice counts. She really deserves to be celebrated. And that's what Nigerians were calling on the presidential election petition tribunal to do nigerians were depending on them to uphold justice so that we can look back and say this time 2023 our pep justices were able to uphold justice and nigerians got the justice they deserved but no they didn't do that what they ended up doing was that it depended on technicalities and the hope of nigerians were crushed but we as well many nigerians we will not give up until we win this matter in the Supreme Court. Another person here reacted and said, Breaking, after many years of excruciating and bad leadership, Abia State has finally found a good governor. Long live Dr. Alex Oti. That's it. All the people keep asking for is good leadership. Leaders who have their interests at heart. Leaders who will ensure that the state keep moving on. Leaders who will ensure that Nigeria as a country keeps growing. Another person here said, let's celebrate the best governor in Nigeria right now. 
Good governance is not rocket science. This is what it should look like. 100 days of Alex Okti and the difference is clear. Very simple, just 100 days in office and the difference is clear. And we know that when he was actually elected into power, other governors were actually also elected. He is the only governor that was elected under the umbrella of Labour Party. And he has been doing the same thing that his principal, Peter Obi, has for Nigerians. We know that Peter Obi has plans to move this country from consumption to production. He has plans to bring those things that as a country we no longer have to restore our face in the eyes of international communities, to give jobs to Nigerians, to create wealth, to create jobs for Nigerians. And that's the same mandate that Alex Oti is working with. Another person here reacted and said, after 100 days in office, Alex Oti has scored very high on his scorecard, changed the taxing system and made it transparent. Salaries are now paid as at when due. Quality roads are now being constructed day and night. When criticized over the innocent issue, he came out and explained himself, showing he wanted to run an open government. He intervened when the police and military clashed with the people and brought calm immediately. He is bringing investment back into the state. All this and more, just 100 days in office. God bless him and I pray he even does more. That's what we are talking about. We know that we have capable hands that will be able to bring what Nigerians want into being. We know that we have leaders in Nigeria who have the right mandate for Nigerians. That's why Nigerians voted for Peter Obi. But INEC rigged the election and at the end of the day, the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal upheld all the atrocities that INEC committed during the 2023 presidential election. Another person here said, in just 100 days, Dr. Alex Oti has given this Abia State Hospital a new face. My question is, what has PDP been doing since 24 years that in just 100 days, someone has been able to achieve this feat? Hmm. Another person here reacted and said, I have tears in my eyes. Are you people saying this is the Abia state I was born and grew up in? Are you people saying this is Aba, my area that has one of the worst roads ever? Abia state now has roads with street lights, Bikonu. Many of you don't know how bad it was under the PDP. That's why. Dr. Alex Oti, GCK, God bless you, sir. Amen. And this is what Nigerians are saying. Give us good covenants. Give us good roads. That's it. Simple. Nigerians are not asking so much from the leaders. Allow the people we voted into power to come into power so that they can give us what we need as a nation. JP here reacted and said... Dr. Alex Oti has done more for Abians in his 100 days in office than the PDP did in their 20 plus years of bad leadership in Abia State. Good governance, no be rocket science. Hmm. And that's the simple truth. He has done so much for this state. And we know that before now, Abia State was ranked as the worst state in Nigeria. But just imagine the transformation just in 100 days in office that Alex Oti has been able to do. And that's it. Nigerians, this is the kind of governance we want in our nation, Nigeria. This is the kind of governance we need to regain our faith in the outside world. This is the kind of governance we need as a nation that can bring in investment into the country, that can bring in foreign investments, that can stir up fresh hope in the people that yes, a new Nigeria is possible, that yes, Nigeria can be great again. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please do it to share your thoughts about the video in the comment section. Please do it to like this video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe to our channel so you get notifications whenever we post a new video.